So hello, everybody. My name is Judy Lee, and I just started my new Instagram called Dish with Judy. And it's because of my love for food that I've been asked by my friends to take my pictures away out of my Judy L88 Instagram. And so now I've separated it. And I also realized I, I know so many people, especially local talented um, entrepreneurs who, who do so much with food. And so I thought it'd be fun to get a few of them on and chat with them and find out how they got started. So today I, I want to highlight Cake by Sadaf. And I have my friend Sadaf here. So can you please tell us a little bit about yourself and then maybe how you got started? Okay. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me and congratulations. I'm so excited for you in this new adventure of yours. It's, it's just so, such a natural progression. I'm, I'm so super, super excited for you. Um, so for me, cakes um, was not always a thing. Um, it came to me by accident. <laughs> I had a one-year-old and I was new to Canada and I didn't know what to do. So I just started baking and decorating and it just slowly got better. Um, it became from a you know part-time hobby to a side hustle and now a full-time gig. <laughs> I'm so excited and people like you've been supporting me so much so thank you um, and I, I, I do all sorts of stuff. I do custom cakes, I do wedding cakes which are a bit on pause these days because of you know the situation around us. Um, um, anything to do from buttercream to fondant, figurines, flowers, so it's exciting. It's a lot of uh, creative work and that's what has kept me, you know, um, going on. And uh, so that's that's a bit about me. <laughs> yeah, um, you know what? I, I love your carrot cake. I've tried your vanilla cake. It's amazing. Your, your frosting, your buttercream frosting is amazing. But I also wanted to ask you, because I saw you, like she does a lot of videos on her Instagram and she was painting like these flowers on a cake. And I thought, geez, you know, she, you can paint that well on a cake. You must be able to paint on canvas. Like, mm -hmm. tell us about that. Like, did you have to learn to do that? No, actually, to be honest, I have not. I always used brushes, watercolor, and, you know, those oil pastels. Uh, I never used <laughs> any oil. I have not done any oil painting ever, <laughs> except for a friend of ours, Shelly, who does great artwork. Um, but... I think I saw someone do it on a cake and I was like, wow, this is interesting. So I, I bought some really like cheap dollar store stuff and I was like, okay, well, I'm just going to try. And it was, it was such a shocking and rather surprising, you know, outcome. And uh, it's, you know, it's more like the cake is your canvas and your paint or your buttercream is your medium. So it just, it just became it, it was a flow and, and I'm so happy and so excited. I have a couple of new things in mind, which I'm going to roll out. And so you guys keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, no, I never got any training. <laughs> I haven't taken any art class. Um, I was always very drawn towards it. It's yes, just a natural that's talent. That's basically what she's saying. <laughs> she's a natural. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm like, like everything else. It can, it, it just, it has gotten better with practice. Like anything you give time and energy towards, you will get better. So I guess, yeah. <laughs> so not only do you do custom cakes, but you also do cookies and, and tarts and things like that too? Yes, I do. I, I do, you know, small dessert table stuff. So I do mini versions of my cakes. So they're cake shots. They're really good for grab and go, especially these days when you don't want to use cutlery and you don't want to touch things. Um, and I also do cookies. I, I did, they're more seasonal for me. I think it's more like towards Christmas and um, towards, you know, usually as party favors. And I don't do ton loads of them, um, but I do them. I do cupcakes. I do I do mini treats. So talking about that, I have a fall treat box thing coming on. We will talk a bit about that later. Um, so it'll have like sweet and savory mix. I feel, you know, um, it, it feels too indulgent. If you get a cake all to yourself, you kind of have that guilt. <laughs> you go like, oh, I, I, I shouldn't be doing this. But, you know, nibbling on um, small bits and treats is, you know, more exciting. That's my favorite. I love having a taste of everything, right? And a taster, sampler, whatever. Yeah. So tell me, um, so how long have you been doing this now? Um, I would say a bit over three years now. Yeah. Not even that long ago when you started this business, right? <laughs> 
And uh, now are you going to be, um, I know with COVID, this may not be something, but Christmas markets, holiday markets, are you, do you ever go to those? Um, I, I did that. Uh, last two years, we've been doing that. Um, it, it, it's, it's a lot of fun because then I do a lot of those paint your own cookie kits. Um, they have, and, and they're good because, you know, everybody's excited and kids get excited. And then there's also like, you know, um, Christmas things. The only thing we just got to watch out, see how things roll out. <laughs> I guess it will be more virtual this time. I'll definitely be, you know, participating in those. Um, I have this, um, COVID thing, has it like affected your business at all? You know what? Um, quite frankly, not so much. I would say the, the things, the demand has changed, not in terms of the quantity, but the things that people are, that people are asking for now. For example, um, in the beginning, when it hit, I had a lot of things planned over the summer, especially wedding cakes are a big chunk, you know, that you look forward to. So those got canceled. And yeah, that there are no weddings now. Too. Yeah, oh that, was a, that was a big hit. Um, however, now, you know, people move towards smaller things. Uh, people are still celebrating their birthdays. I think, especially after about four or five months into the pandemic, people wanted to look forward to something to celebrate, to, <laughs> even if it was sitting at home. So I wouldn't say work, um, you know, the quantity didn't really, you know, change, but the, the demand of the kind of stuff that people were asking for changed quite a bit. So like, I, I don't know if you remember, I did some cake jars. I don't have to have to make one for you. I want to try that. Yes, yes, cake jars. <laughs> so that was, that was like a less guilt version of, I still want to enjoy a cake, but I don't want a lot of it, right? So it's nice because you can just open the lid and you put, you know, stick your spoon in and you just, and then it's good and for we have our own jars, which is very COVID uh, friendly. <laughs> yes, that's great. And, um, or two people can share if you want to you know, portion it out. No, uh, so no, that's my that jar. jar. <laughs> <laughs> my, <laughs> my jar. Um, okay, so I guess my last question is, um, what do you have coming up that's kind of special or fun? Or do you have anything promotional that we can yes, tell everybody? Um, and uh, I have been thinking about this forever and I didn't <laughs> push myself, but you know, we you remember you and me were chatting and some other friends pushed me too. So I'm going to be um, introducing a fall treat box. It's more like a high tea um, version of dessert. I love high be- tea. Love it. So it's going to be, you know, um, so there's going to be some donuts, some eclairs, some cupcakes, maybe some cookies, and then we'll have some scones and um, maybe some savory cream puffs instead of, you know, the sweet ones. So it'll be a good mix of um, sweet and savory. And I'm, I'm really excited and I'll be sharing um, it on my Instagram and, and I'll be sure to tag you <laughs> yes. so you can share it too. And I'll be happy and I'll be happy to do one for you too. And then you can give me your honest, you know, review. On I how would it- love to be your tester. <laughs> love it. Yes. So for everyone, go to her Instagram and follow Cake by Sadaf. And yes. uh, yeah, like follow her. I mean, she has these really cool videos. She shows you how to pipe cakes and things <laughs> like that. Not that I've ever done that, but but if I did want to, I'm sure I can watch these videos and follow um, and, and, and in the long run, sooner, in, 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 you know, in the near future, I'm going to be starting some virtual classes where oh, if okay. anyone who wants to, who wants to, um, you know, do, there will be a basic how to decorate your cake um, because I know a lot of people do it as an experience and, and it was easier for me to do that um, in person before, but now I know and, and I, you know, for me, safety comes really first oh. before anything else. So I'll be doing a few virtual ones and I'll be posting them over um, November, December. So that's something to look forward to as well. And, and I'll have a series. So it's you can pick what you'll be interested towards. No, that's amazing. Amazing. Well, thank you for being on my first little chat with Dish with Judy. Um, <laughs> in a few weeks, I will be interviewing someone named Quest and she is Chef Coco XO. She does these amazing fancy chocolates and uh so that will be the next person i'll be talking with anyways thank you so much thank you judy thank you for having me take care bye-bye